Should you add quantity-based tiered pricing in your WooCommerce wholesaling store? <laughs> when you set up tiered pricing in your store, you're not only incentivizing yourself as a business owner, but you're also incentivizing your customer who spend more, who buy more product. So when they buy more product, they get higher discount, and you, you sell more product. So everybody wins. First of all, make sure that you have the Wholesale X plugin installed and activated on your side. Why Wholesale X? Because Wholesale X lets you create tiered pricing in four different ways. You can set it globally, product specific, category specific, and even user specific tiered pricing. And it has a whole lot of wholesaling functionalities which are really useful. Let's start by creating a product specific tiered pricing list. To do so, we'll have to head over to the product section from your WordPress dashboard. Then under the product that you want to add the tier list to, click on the edit button. Once you're in, scroll down till you see this section right over here. You can add tiered pricing for B2C users, guest users, and even special roles that you created using Wholesale X. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can learn more about the user roles of Wholesale X. Right now we will add tiered pricing for the guest users. So expand the guest user and here there are three options. Under the discount type, you can select the type of discount that you want to give. You can give them a discount amount, a discounted percentage or set a fixed price. Let's set it to fixed price right now. The regular price for this product is $12. So I'm going to put the discounted price to $11. And the person or the customer should buy at least three products to get this discounted amount. This is tier one. Let's add another tier. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to select fixed price. And the next discounted amount is going to be 10 per se. And the minimum quantity that they must buy will go higher to 6. This is the second tier. And now we go to the third tier. Fixed price. And the discounted amount should be $6. And they must buy at least 12 products to get the discounted amount. So once you're done setting your tiered pricing list, we must scroll and click on the update button right over here. Now let's see how this looks in the front end. Yes, we have it right over here. The chart is right in front of us. 3 to 5 product. We get a $1 discount and the unit price becomes $11 and so it goes on. So let's just enter 12. And since I uh, opted for 12 products, you can see it shows that my price, unit price has come down to $6. So that's how it works. Now we're done setting product specific tier pricing. I will show you how you can set tiered pricing for categories as well as for an individual user and also globally. To set uh, tiered pricing for categories, the process is almost the same. All you have to do, instead of going to the product section from your WordPress dashboard of course, go to the category section and click on the edit button next to the category that you want to add the tiered pricing to. Once you're in, you'll see the section called Wholesale X Tier Pricing. So you can set this for specific roles that you create using Wholesale X. And as I told uh, earlier, you can learn more about the Wholesale X user role from my blog post. The link is still gonna be in the description. It's the same thing. You select the discount type, the discount amount, and the minimum quantity they need to buy. 
create different tiers. And once you're done, click on the update button and your tiered pricing for your category is completed. So that was category. Now we will set a user specific tiered pricing. To do so, we go to the user section of both of WordPress, my bad. Then click on the user to whom you want to give a tiered pricing to. And scroll down till you see Wholesale X Profile Discount and expand it. And the process is still the same. Selling the discount type, price, quantity, and you can even set which product that you want to add this specific tier pricing to. Once you're done, scroll down and click on the update button. And you're good to go. Finally, we have the global tier pricing list. To do so, go to the dynamic rule section of Wholesale X. Then we're going to create a new rule. Expand the new, new created rule. Uh, give a name to the rule. Now select the rule type to quantity based discount. Since it's globally, we will select all user under the select user slash rule and all products. Expand the quantity based discount. And just like earlier, you'll have to set the tiered list. Now here we have additional conditions that you can set and also the date and limit rule. If I enter five and set the start date Friday till next Friday, this rule will be only applicable five times starting Friday till the next Friday for a week. And that's it. Once you're done, click on rule status and enable it. Then click on the save button and your tiered pricing will be global. You can also change the layout of your tiered pricing list. To do so, go to the settings section of Wholesale X. Once you're in there, click on designs. And here we have the tiered table layout in product single page. Select the layout that you like the most. For now, I'm just gonna select. Okay, that's already selected. This one. And change the color, button color, primary hover color, and so on. Then click on save changes. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions or suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on upcoming content. Get hold some likes.